If you're playing Sea of Thieves with a controller, you're playing the game on hard mode. While your settings and your accessories can help, the best thing you can do is utilize strategies that make you more dangerous in combat. Strategies that just might make you a control lord. Part 3. Strats. Stick to the end and I'll share what is, in my opinion, the best advice any player can hear. 1. Prioritize naval combat. Cannons and helming are just as easy, if not easier, on controller than they are on mouse and keyboard. In fact, because a controller has the rumble function, a controller player is using three senses, sight, sound, and touch, where a mouse and keyboard player only gets two. So when you're on helm, you can feel the smaller bumps as the wheel turns, and the bigger bump when it's set in the middle. You can be listening to your crew flap their gums while also keeping an eye on the horizon, using your sense of touch to navigate. Cannons, like everything else in the game, were actually optimized for controllers. Even the most dedicated mouse and keyboard player will admit, after trying it with a controller, firing cannons is a lot smoother and easier on controller. Anytime you're in a position to choose naval or face-to-face -face combat, choose naval. In fact, if your crew features mouse and keyboard players, it's probably best to let them be the vanguard, the boarding party. Let them go do the face-to-face -face stuff where they shine while you stay back on the ship using the cannons to sink your opponents, where you shine. 2. Optimize your loadouts. Aiming with your right wrist while moving with your left fingers is overwhelmingly easier to do than aiming with your right thumb while moving with your left thumb. There's no way around that. Mouse and keyboard players have a much easier time using the guns. While the sniper has a crosshair and the blunderbuss doesn't even really need to be aimed at close range, the pistol is probably where this discrepancy is the widest. So when you're first starting out, maybe don't use the pistol. Sword blunderbuss is going to be easiest for a new controller player. But learn to use the sniper and the pistol as soon as you're ready. Also, use blunder bombs. Often. Your aim doesn't even need to there, be that three great of them because of the splash. Lunge. Just make sure you're not standing too close when you throw them. Master the sword lunge. Practice moving around with it so that you know exactly where to aim. A great place to do this is Golden Sands Outpost. Just sword lunge from island to island until you're really good at it and have it down to muscle memory. 3. Prevent being boarded. Everyone needs to prevent being boarded, but controller players more so. Whatever it takes, do anything you can to keep opponents off your ship. It is far easier to keep them off your ship than to kill them once they're already there. Stepping back then blunder bombing your ladder is probably the most easy way to do it. 4. This one's my personal favorite. Be devious. Tucking, hiding on enemy ships, forts, and outposts is something anyone can do regardless of what they play with. Wearing darker, non-glowy outfits so you're harder to see going barefoot so you're harder to hear, learning all the spots on ships where it's safest to hide, and purchasing from the Emporium a variety of hide emotes that are more useful in different scenarios. Tuck on forts while crews finish the event and open up the vault, then use a keg to blow them up. This is going to be a pretty big explosion. Ambush ships at islands and outposts and shipwrecks. Get in a few shots and maybe even take down their masts while your opponents aren't even on board. Is any of this stuff fair fighting? No, of course not. But on the other hand, Pirate. And five. The best advice I can give to a controller player or to anyone else in Sea of Thieves. Lose. When I was a kid, I took fencing lessons, and I remember something my coach used to say. Every time you lose, you're a little bit better than you just were. Maybe not enough to notice right then, but eventually you will realize you're winning more and more of your fights. But to get there, you have to be willing to lose. So, lose. Load up the game, find a Reaper on the map, and go attack them. Attack every ship you see. Get into fights you know you're going to lose beforehand. Get past any nervous feelings you might have. Get over your fear of having your loot stolen or seeing rolls on deck laughing up in the corner. Don't do it for treasure. Don't do it for commendations. Do it so that you'll be a little bit better at the end of the day. Hopefully this helps. If there are any controller strategies for Sea of Thieves that I didn't mention, let me know in the comments. Check out my Sea of Thieves stream at twitch.tv slash calicosmack, and I'll see you out there.